baby gals, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as you can see naman sa title, it is going to be my November favorites video. I know, medyo late na itong video na ito, pero pagpasensya nyo na, kasi naging busy ako, and na-share ko naman sa mga vlog na medyo, um, nawalan ako ng inspirasyon. Pero, I'm back at it again. Pasensya na kung late itong video na ito. But, better late, better late than never, di ba? Anyway, without any further ado, magsimula na tayo sa ating November favorites video. Alright, baby girl, so nalatag ko na yung aking mga favorites products dito in front of me. So, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung mga favorites ko in no particular order. Or siguro, I don't know. Basta. <laughs> Kung paano ko sila makikita, yun. Ganun ko sila ipapakita sa inyo. Yung first kong favorite is itong aking bagong earrings. Actually, meron siyang pair na kwintas. Ayan, ito siya. Heart, heart siya, di ba? Pair sila, guys. And favorite ko siya kasi binigay siya ng aking asawa noong aming anniversary. And ang cute-cute niya. Oh, super cute. Parang chunky heart yung design. And binigay din ni Kenneth itong bagong relo ko, which is also one of my favorites sa month na November and December. And always, kasi it's very close to my heart. Um, thank you so much sa aking my love, si Kenneth, for giving this to me and this to me and the necklace. I love you so much. Thank you so much. Another additionals aking mga favorite jewelry pieces which will stay in my heart in my memories forever char okay <laughs> let's move on meron akong skincare favorite this month and sasabihin ko na medyo nakatulong to sa breakouts ko pero today tumubo ang ilang breakouts Grabe, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 walong breakouts agad and only on this cheek I don't know why pero <laughs> Bakit? Mga <laughs> binigyan ng maraming breakouts. Ganyan, I don't know. Pero before, mga a few weeks ago, super dami kong pimples, guys. As in, hindi ko alam bakit, pero parang tinabuan ako ng 20 pimples in one day. As in, 10 dito, 10 dito. Tapos meron din dito sa chin. Nakakaloka. And ito yung nakatulong sa akin para kumonte yung aking pimples and para makam calm Para makam down yung redness niya. This is the Real Kill Green Tea Foam Cleanser. Ayan siya. That's how it looks like. And it's from the brand RA and Go Worry. I want ko. It's a Korean brand. Binigay to sa akin ng Aegyo Skin and Beauty. Ilalagay ko yung link sa description box below. And I think very affordable lang to. Sabi naman kasi dito that it contains green tea, witch hazel, aloe vera, goto cola, and port. Hindi ko mabasa yung iba. Pero from what I know, yung aloe vera, witch hazel, and green tea, nakakatulong yun for like redness and pimples and mga irritations or blemishes, ba So, I think nakatulong talaga to para sa akin kasi ito lang naman yung bago na in-apply ko sa aking face. Kasi when I had those breakouts na marami, tinry ko yung 10-step skincare routine and nakatulong naman siya kahit papano. Pero, hindi talaga yung over-over. So, I thought na I would skip to, so I thought na I would change my routine to the very basic routine na cleanse, tone, and moisturize. And naging okay na okay naman. Kaya lang today, ayan, tumubo yung super daming pimples. I don't know why. Pero, thank you for this kasi nakatulong talaga siya sa aking breakouts. Another favorite skincare, another skincare favorite for the month of November has been this one. Makeup remover siya. Caradium Deep Pore Clean Cleansing Water. All-in-one cleansing without drying the skin. 300 ml na siya, guys. Ang dami-dami, oh. Tapos, ang dami ko nang nagamit, as you can see. Hindi naman ako everyday nagme-makeup. Usually, mga two times a week lang, mga ganun. Tapos, ganito na karami yung nakuha ko. So, what you do is you get a cotton pad, tapos ilalagay mo dito, and then you just pump it. Tapos, lalabas na yung cleansing water. And I really like it. Um, yung ibang cleansing water na natry ko kasi... I've owned, pasensya na, parang nawawala yung boses ko. Um, yung natry ko lang is from Garnier and nagbe-breakout ako doon so I stopped using it. Tapos it leaves a film on my face after I use it kaya hindi ko siya nagustuhan. Pero ito, nagustuhan ko talaga siya kasi parang tubig lang talaga siya and it makes my skin feel so clean. Wala siyang film na nalileave after using it which is the reason why I like it so much and it does not break me out. And then I have a favorite product then for the hair kasi if you saw my hair before um, hindi naman siya ganito. Yung itsura niya. <laughs> Mas okay na yung itsura niya ngayon. Kasi noon, 
Talagang super pangit na yung itsura niya. I don't know. Kasi yung dito sa ends, parang nagiging buhaghag siya. Pero yung dito na part, hindi naman buhaghag. So ngayon, mas hindi na buhaghag tignan yung ends. Mas naging behave na siya. And it's because of the new shampoo and conditioner that I've been using for the month of November. And it's this one right here. Simply G or Simply Gorgeous na keratin shampoo. And itong keratin deep conditioning therapy with argan oil sila. And yung Brazilian series ito. It's only 6 pesos each. And I don't know kung mabibili nyo to dito sa Cebu. Pero sa Manila, I think you can buy it sa Pure Gold and other supermarkets. Wala akong nakitang ganito dito sa Cebu. Pero kung nakita nyo siya in other grocery stores, please let me know. Kasi I really, really like it. Tapos nagustuhan ko talaga yung amoy niya. Ako kasi ayoko yung amoy ng buho ko. Yung amoy generic ba? Yung amoy na super sikat na mga shampoo and conditioner. Gusto ko maiba naman yung amoy ng aking hair. Tsaka ayoko yung super lakas ng amoy ng hair ko. Kasi mas gusto ko malakas yung amoy ng aking perfume. So, ito, nagustuhan ko talaga siya kasi yung amoy niya, hindi siya overpowering. Babango siya. It smells clean. Tapos, yung shampoo, nalilinis niya talaga yung aking scalp kasi meron akong dandruff minsan. And kahit hindi anti-dandruff shampoo yung ginagamit ko, ito lang, nalilinis niya naman yung scalp ko. Wala naman akong nakikitang mga puti-puti dyan. <laughs> Tapos, yung conditioner naman, Actually, I can live without the shampoo. Yung conditioner talaga yung pinaka-favorite ko. Kasi, ayan o, oh, nagiging manageable tignan yung aking buhok. Hindi siya yung buhaghag sa ends. And I think ito talaga yung nakatulong. Kasi na-deep condition talaga niya yung aking buhok. Kasi meron nga siyang deep conditioning therapy. Tapos, I can use this twice. Hinahati ko siyang ganyan. Kasi if I use the entire sachet, super dami na niya. And feeling ko nasa sayang lang yung iba. So, kung isipin mo, 3 pesos per day lang yung aking gasto sa conditioner. Which is very, very very affordable, diba? Bongga! Yung shampoo din, nahahaf ko siya. Alright, so that's that. Now, let's move on sa aking favorite makeup for the month. Meron akong favorite foundation for the month of November. And kapag ginagamit ko to, lagi akong nakaka-receive ng compliments na ang ganda daw ng skin ko. Hindi nyo lang alam, maraming pimples underneath and maraming blemishes underneath. Ito din yung foundation na ginagamit ko ngayon. And every time I use this, maraming nagtatanong kung ano ba yung foundation na gamit ko. This is the Sansan HD or High Definition Foundation with vitamins A, C, and E. And this one is in the shade Natural. Yung problema lang sa Sansan is konti lang yung kanilang shade range. Merong super puti, tapos ito, tapos medyo dark na. So, kung you are in between those shades, kailangan mo talagang bumili ng dalawang shade para makuha mo yung exact skin tone mo. Gusto ko lang sabihin na ito, it's very affordable. 200 plus lang, but it's very very good. As in, lumalaban siya dun sa ibang foundation nating 500, 600 sa Watsons lumalaban ang foundation na ito guys. It stays on my oily skin for about 8 hours tapos after that, nagbe-break up na siya dito. Pero when I use a good primer and a good setting spray, which I will get to later on, nagsistay siya all throughout the day, like mga 10 hours siguro, up to 12 hours. Super ganda. As in, I love it so much. Yung gusto ko sa kanya is naka-cover niya talaga yung blemishes ko after like mga two layers. It doesn't look really cakey. It looks skin-like. Pero hindi naman talaga yung parang natural na, wow, ang ganda ng skin mo. No. Parang nag-makeup ka talaga, pero hindi yung cakey tignan. Okay, next up, I have two favorite powders to share with you guys today. And first one is itong EB na Avera powder. I am in the shade Natural. Ito yung lagi ko talaga ginagamit lately. And if you can see, nakaklaro nyo na yung itsura ng pan dito. <laughs> kasi lagi ko nga talaga siyang ginagamit. As in, gusto gusto ko siya kasi... It actually controls the oils on my face. Pero hindi siya yung ganun kagaling na oil control powder like the Rimmel Stay Matte. Mas okay pa rin yun. Ito, it controls the oil for about 2 to 3 hours. Pero it's very, very affordable. 100 pesos lang ang powder na ito. Yung amoy niya, parang baby. Tapos, maganda naman siya tignan sa face. And wala siya masyadong coverage. Pero yung nagustuhan ko sa kanya is nasa set niya talaga yung aking makeup very well. And it smells very good. Parang amoy baby talaga. <laughs> And then, uh, next up, another favorite powder is this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder. Ito siya, kung magtatake ka ng pictures, this is the way to go kasi wala siyang flashback. Medyo mahal na lang siya na powder, pero it is worth it. Ang ganda-ganda ng powder na to, noong, um, 
nung una ko siyang ginamit, parang na-feel ko na, hmm, ano pa tong powder na to? Parang wala lang kasi nung ginaganyan ko siya, parang walang lumalabas. Pero yung ginawa ko, kiniskis ko siya, tapos ayan, may lumalabas na. Kung gusto mo ng powder na nag add ng coverage sa iyong mukha, um, this is not the powder for you kasi wala siyang coverage na nabibigay. Talagang nasiset niya lang yung makeup mo. And yung gusto ko dito is, it's a very fine powder. It's very finely milled. And kapag nilalagay ko siya sa face ko, ginaganyan ko na siya. Nagkumukuha ko ng powder, tapos pinapat ko siya sa face ko. And nakikita ko, parang nami-minimize yung aking pores. Tapos, dinadamihan ko siya, guys. <laughs> tapos, it doesn't look cakey kahit dinadamihan ko na siya. Napaka-poreless like na ng face ko. And my face looks very smooth and parang soft na soft to the touch. As in, parang may blurring effect siya sa face. I love it. For my bronzer, I'm also using this today as my bronzer. Favorite ko si Hula by Benefit. As in, noon, I was very skeptical na ano bang problem, ano bang meron dun sa Hula bronzer na yan? Bakit ba favorite niya ng lahat? Meron naman tayo dito sa local drugstore natin na mga murang bronzer lang. Parang same lang naman yung effect na nabibigay nila. Pero hindi pala, iba, iba talaga. Worthy siya na maging favorite ng maraming beauty bloggers kasi wala lang, napakaganda lang ng kulay niya. It's the perfect in-between shade na not too warm, not too cool. So you can use it for bronzer and contour as well. Parang worth it naman siya sa presyo niya. Tapos I got this for a very good deal pa kasi nabili ko to in a kit. Tapos it came with this one. Tapos a small quickie contour kit and a small WhatsApp highlighter. So super sulit na. Tapos nabili ko siya 1,000 pesos lang. Diba? Bangka! <laughs> Nabili ko siya sa sephora.ph. Um, ilalagay ko yung link sa description box below in case I find the exact same kit. Kung meron pang stock. Kasi last time ko siyang tinignan, 1-1 na siya tapos walang stock. Okay, next up for blush. Um, tatlo yung favorite kong blush for the month. And first one is this EB Advance Cheek Color in the shade Fig. Napakaganda nito guys. Like kung gusto niyong isport yung drunk blush, super ganda nitong gamitin para sa drunk blush guys kasi... Yung shade niya ba, parang perfect talaga pang drunk blush. Oh! Tapos yung formula ng mga blushes na to, super creamy guys. Super creamy pa na. Very pigmented. Tingnan niyo naman yung color payoff niya. And, tingnan niyo, parang may satin finish mga nga siya. So, it does not look dull on your face. Ang ganda ng formula. As in, very blendable. Very easy to work with. And, I cannot believe na 175 pesos lang ang blush na ito. It also works really nice as an eyeshadow. Kasi nga, super blendable niya. And very creamy. Very parang buttery to the touch na nga siya almost. Pero, yun. One of my ultimate favorites. My other favorite blushes, ginagamit ko sila in conjunction with one another. So, minimix ko sila all the time. And it's the blush that I have on my cheeks right now. I mix the Caroline Oil Control Blush in the shade Peach Glow and yung Nichido True Colors Collection na Powder Blush in the shade Blushing Pink, which is this one. Ito, 88 pesos lang siya. Tapos ito, I think, is 95 pesos only. It just makes a perfect combo talaga as a blush. Nagiging peachy pink na blush siya. Kasi ito, it's too peachy as in peach na peach talaga siya. Pero kung I'm in the mood for a really peachy blush, ito lang ginagamit ko. Pero most of the time, minimix ko silang dalawa and it just makes the perfect color as in very flattering for my skin tone. Alright, next up for highlight, ito, nabili ko rin to recently lang and it's been one of my ultimate favorites. Like, ever since I started using this, wala na akong ibang highlighter na ginamit. I haven't been putting it down. And it's this one, yung Becca na highlighter in the shade Moonstone. Ang cute ng packaging, diba? Yung mini lang yung binili ko kasi, ewan ko ba, I can't bring myself to buy a 2,000 plus peso highlighter as in hindi ko kaya. <laughs> Tapos ito, nakita ko, it's only 1,000 pesos yata. Kaya binili ko na siya, pero mini size lang siya. And it's so cute. I mean, look at that. <laughs> pero okay na okay na itong size na to. Kasi yung highlight, di ba, nilalagay mo lang naman dyan. Super konti lang naman ang kailangan mo. So I think okay na okay na to. Pero gusto ko rin bumili ng malaki. Pero ewan ko ba, I can't bring myself to spend that much money for a highlighter. Pero I think it's worth it naman. Kasi ang ganda-ganda niya. It's very reflective. And hindi naman siya masyadong nag- accentuate ng iyong texture unlike other highlighters bro. Look at that. Ang ganda niya guys. As in Moonstone, if you have fair skin like me, ang ganda ng Moonstone guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 
Okay, susunod naman, meron akong isi-share na favorite eyeshadow palette ko recently. And meron sana akong isa pang isi-share, pero nawala siya. Hindi ko alam saan ko siya nilagay. It's the EB eyeshadow palette in the shade brown or yung brown na variant. It contains 5 or 6 shades, tapos parang tatlo yata doon or apat are matte shades. And super gagawin na ng matte shades doon. Na-review ko siya doon sa aking full face na trying EB products. And talagang napawaw talaga ako sa eyeshadow palette na yun. It's just so sad na hindi ko siya mahanap. I don't know where I put it. Pero meron din akong another favorite from EB na palette. And it's this one. EB Advance Eyeshadow 5 Shades in the shade Sunset Cafe. This is what I have on my eyelid. And do you see how reflective my eyelid is? Super gaganda as in. And this one, I only bought it for around 120 to 130 pesos. Diba? Lima na siya. Tapos ganun siya kamura. I used this one dito sa inner part ng aking lid. Tapos yung brown dito sa outer, outer, outer part ng aking lid. Super gaganda. Very pigmented. Very metallic. Like, I'll show you ha. Tignan nyo yung mga swatches nila guys. Aakalain nyo ba na 120 or 130 pesos lang yung eyeshadow na nilagay ko sa aking mga mata. ba hindi? Super ganda best as in. Okay na okay yung kanyang color payoff. Yung paglapat niya sa aking eyelid. Okay na okay kahit walang eyeshadow primer. Hindi naman siya nagkikrease sa akin. And madali lang naman din silang i-blend sa aking eyes. Ah! Dito siya guys! Nahanap ko siya. Ito oh! Yung EV Brown eyeshadow palette. Yeah! I'm so happy na hanap ko siya. Look at that! Ah! Kalain mo bang 150 or 160 pesos lang to? Gagawa din ako ng swatches, ha? Yung swatches, ang bongga, ba? Oh, fuck! Siyempre, hindi siya ganun ka pigmented like the five shades na eyeshadow. Yung pinakita ko sa inyo kanina. Kasi these are matte shades. Pero for the price, tsaka considering na local lang siya, ba? Made in the Philippines. Okay na okay na to. I am very impressed. Alright, so up next guys, isha-share ko naman sa inyo yung mga favorite lip products ko for the month of November. And dalawa sila, and they're both from EB as well. EB lover na talaga ako guys, as in. So first, ito yung nasa lips ko ngayon. And it's the Everbilena Liquid Lipstick, yung nasa shorter tube in the shade Aura or Aura. For the month of November, if you watch my vlogs, ito lagi yung nasa lips ko. Tapos, every time I wear it, laging may nagkatanong, ati ina na yung nasa lips mo. I get a lot of compliments when I wear this liquid lipstick, and it feels very comfortable on the lips din. Mas gusto ko to compare dun sa mas mataas na tube, or compare dun sa LTD. Ito yung favorite ko na liquid lipstick from Everbilena. Ito, moussey siya. Tapos, it feels very comfortable on the lips, and very easy to reapply. Of course, natatanggal siya after mong kamain. Pero kung hindi ka kumain, long-lasting naman siya. Next is another favorite. And ito si EB LTD Liquid Lipstick in the shade Rich Vino. Um, nagustuhan ko to kasi meron akong damit na parang ganito din yung kulay. Tapos, every time I wear that dress, ito yung ginagamit ko na lipstick. And super ganda niya guys. As in, when I wore this dun sa aking isang vlog, I got so much compliments na, wow, ang ganda ng lipstick mo, Ate Ina. It really compliments your skin tone. Tapos, sabi nyo, nakakamistisa talaga, nakakaputi. So, ayun, nagustuhan ko naman. Kaya, lagi ko na siyang ginagamit. Ang paborito ko talaga siya. <laughs> ito, si Rich Vino. So, if you're looking for a nice um, state mint lip yung hindi siya nude go for this. Ang ganda diba? Last but certainly not the least ang aking favorite na setting spray for the month as I mentioned earlier like yung ibang foundation always natatanggal we break up siya on this part of my face pero when I use this setting spray hindi nangyayari yun sa akin and I don't know why, kasi yung ibang setting spray, ginagamit ko sila. Pero yun pa rin ang nangyayari, nag-break up yung foundation right here. Pero when I use this one, hindi nangyayari yun, which I'm very happy about. And it's this one right here. Is set mo best ang pangmalakasang setting spray. Yes, bonga. And alam nyo guys, this is from Sugar Skull Cebu. It was made by Kaiko. Hi Kaiko! Siya yung gumawa nito. And it's already 100 ml and it's only 150 pesos. I'm glad that I really like this kasi I love promoting products na made in Cebu or made in the Philippines kasi diba, love your own. I'm a Cebuana so I love made in Cebu na products. Tapos tignan nyo yung mist niya ha. Oh, it has such a fine mist. Kita niyo? 
Oh, yes. <laughs> Confident ako na marami akong sinispray nito. Kasi ang mura lang niya, best. 150 pesos. Super sulit, super worth it. So, you have to try it out for yourself. Nalanghap ko yung spin ray ko na setting spray. Tapos, matamis siya, guys. Bakit matamis siya? Kay kung ano tamis man siya. Please explain. <laughs> By the way, I will have the links ng Sugar Skull Cebu sa description box below. So yun, yun na aking favorite video for the month of November. Sana nag-enjoy kayo. And if you enjoyed or if you found this helpful, kindly give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell para ma-update ka every time I upload a new video, which is every single day. And I have a video going up tonight. That will be my vlog yesterday. Kasi I'm doing vlogmas! So that's it for this video, baby girls. Sana nag-enjoy kayo. I love you all so much. And I hope to see you in the next video tomorrow. Bye! Mwah! Really calm. Uh. So first, so first, ito yung, so first, ito yung for a drunk, uh. Also, madalas, ginagamit ko rin yung dalawang yan for a drunk blush look. Uh. Yung problema lang sa sun, sun is konti lang yung Your problem is that Santa... Blah.